All right, hello everybody and welcome to the channel. As usual, my name is of course Constantine and today in the world of indie games, we're just going to be checking out a brand new game called Rolling Hills. Now, I'm going to be playing this one on the Xbox PC Game Pass as I'm partnered with Xbox right now, try to bring you guys some uh, new gameplays here and I'll uh, show you guys what this service has to offer. I'm personally absolutely loving playing games through Game Pass because there's a really big collection and more than this, a lot of games are actually coming out on Game Pass day one. So uh, it's a really great game to experience game the first time they release and get to experience them all for a very very low price so that being said guys let's just jump right in and let's see what this game is all about let's do this oh uh was i starting sorry uh this is my first time away from home i've never seen so many people before i'm on my way to the vast futuristic city known as rolling hills once i arrive i'll become a world-renowned sushi chef fulfilling my dreams and making my creators proud i know moving out is scary for a lot of humans but i'm a brave little bot in fact i was programmed with um what is that i'm blocking the bathroom oh sorry um <clears throat> this is my stop i'll just squeeze by you goodbye forever <laughs> Hey, look at this. Howdy, little fella. Of course, you must be Sushi Bar, right? I'm the mayor of this town. Name's Kaki. You said it was a bustling metropolis. Actually, I said it was a bustling metropolis. We just need a little help. I need to make a phone call. Wait, look, I know I might fit a little bit when I was talking about the rolling hills. In fact, our town needs you more than you need us. You need a chef? More than a chef. Every great town needs a landmark, and reason to come here from miles away just to experience it, um, you'll be that for our town. People will actually come from all over to have the world's best sushi. The fact that a robot's making it doesn't hurt either. Come on, follow me. I'll show you the restaurant. Now, before we jump into this adventure, guys, let me make something clear. I hate sushi. <laughs> if there is a food type that uh, I would absolutely love to eat, it's definitely not sushi. Uh, so yeah, I, apparently in this game, we are going to run a restaurant, which is going to be a sushi restaurant. Uh, we're going to see. Maybe this is going to change my mind. I don't know. As you can see, I've cleaned the place smack dab in the middle of town for you. Um, it's cozy. That's what the kids call it these days, at least. Of course, we already have a world-class facilities to help you along with the way. There's the market next door uh, where Armand sells fresh ingredients. You can use those to liven up your recipes. The cafe on the north side of town runs by uh, my youngest, Maya. No better place to make friends than uh, over at a cup of joe. And last but not least, the workshop to the east where you can buy new furniture. My oldest daughter, Ren, runs that, uh, runs that place. Interesting. So... How about it? Take a chance on rolling hills? For sushi! Whatever gets you say. <laughs> so now, how about you open up the restaurant and show us what is done? I'm mighty hungry for all that talking, to be honest. There we go. There we got ourselves the restaurant. All right, so of course, we're seeing a little bit of a uh, guide here with the task that we're going to have. Oh, man, this actually looks really lovely. Look at that. This is such an awesome game. Uh, use Sushi-matic to open up the restaurant. So I'm guessing we got to interact with this restaurant aha and if i want to open it fully charged and ready what would you like to do open the restaurant there we go the sushi matic is on this is so lovely all right press a on a dish to grab it and then press a on a customer to serve it aha uh -huh. so we gotta wait for the customers to come on in make the orders and see what i gotta give them do i have to interact with there uh, each customer has desired flavor, indicated by the color and icon, and quality indicated by the number. Try to match and exceed these values to uh, the best reviews, which will help your restaurant gain popularity. Aha, uh -huh, so you do have to interact with them. She wants fish, blue. There we go. That's done. Your primary goal is to increase the restaurant popularity by satisfying customers, of course. Each time the restaurant reaches a new level, you may encounter new customers, quests, or progress in the storyline. Aha, uh -huh, and I do see the uh, level of the restaurant at the bottom of the screen. And I think my quest is to uh, reach a level 5 popularity. Right, she now wants this one. This is so cool though. I love it. This looks like a really fun game. What do you want? Uh, she wants fish this time. Okay, here we go. I wonder if I gotta prepare something though. A sink for washing dishes in hands, if you got them. <laughs> Uh, it's a large fridge with plenty of room. There's note on the door. If you need more ingredients for crafting recipes, come and see me. Armin. Hmm. Okay. 
We have more customers, but I don't have any more fish, though. I could reload it. Let us see what they're going to request, though. Okay, she wants that. And she wants one of these. Let me reload it fast. There we go. Okay, I understand how this works. This is pretty cool. This is actually pretty cool. Alright. Uh, there we go. Pretty easy mission. She wants one of these. Alright. If she's gonna want the pink one, I'm gonna give it and then I'm gonna reload. Nope, she wants blue. So I'm gonna reload it now, actually. Ooh. Okay, we gotta reload it again. Because they need a blue one. Go. And we're done. Awesome. I think we're just about to reach level two. Not yet. Maybe we need more. Yeah, I think we need another set of uh, customers. And also notice that we have 54 coins. So that is awesome. We're going to have to do quite a bit of uh, deliveries here for food. I cannot wait to see how we're going to be able to upgrade our uh, restaurant, though. It's going to be fun. Okay. And one for you. Perfect. Let me reload this. There we go. One blue over here. And one pink over here. We are level 2 already, right? Oh, I think I gotta level up because I see I have uh, 130 by uh, from 100. So I think I gotta probably go in kind of like a skill tree to upgrade myself manually. Right? How do you even do that? Hmm... Hold up a minute. Uh, recipes, tasks. So, grand opening, hello world. Yeah, I just gotta get to level 5. You can also pin it. Uh, hat achievements. So, these are all the achievements. Hmm. Never mind. Yeah, as I was saying, I have 150. Ah, you gotta wait for the day to end. And once the day ends, that's when the level started to show up. I get it. So we are level 2, but uh, we're on the way to level 3 already. And I think we're also learning what people want, right? Egnigiri is a sweet symphony of my taste buds. Oh, no, never mind. These are reviews. Not bad. Hi there. It's nice to meet you. Likewise. And congratulations on opening your restaurant. I ran the market just next door. I do hope you'll swing by. You never take your recipes to the highest level without investing in great ingredients. Hmm. Ah, what's happening? Kappa roll. There we go. Trouble by messy customers. Try serving this recipe, which instantly makes the table cleaner. Huh. Okay. Oh, yeah, it is going to have uh, night and day cycles. Recipe effects. Many recipes have special effects that are activated during the restaurant services. Press to open up the main menu and navigate the recipes. Oh, hold up a minute. Recipes. Ah. How do you activate the effects though? I have no clue. I think you can also level up the um, recipes as well. Interesting. Uh, hold up, before I do anything. You're the one responsible for the buzz all the sound, right? Uh, I guess. Let's check this place out. I think I might need to buy some stuff. Welcome, welcome. I'm still getting set up, but feel free to look around. Like I said earlier, ingredients can take a recipe uh, to the next level, improving it in all sorts of different ways. I'll let you choose your first ingredients for free. Ooh. Uh, 10 XP to any fish recipes. What do you do? Bye. Of course, we got some sal salmon. Grimachi is a great choice. Ingredients must be used on recipes to enjoy their benefits. Open the pause menu, navigate to the ingredients screen, and use your ingredients on a uh, recipe. Huh. After purchasing the ingredients, press to open the menu, navigate. Ah, that's how you level them up. So you go here, ingredients, and you apply it here, for example. And this is going to be leveled up to... Look at that. Level 2. Ah, oh, that is so cool. So now if I go for the recipes, yeah, this one is level 2. So you can basically increase the uh, every single one of the recipes that you have a little bit. If I may, let me explain a bit more about the recipe level. Ingredients, of course, give you XP to recipe. When a, res uh, when a recipe gains enough XP, its levels increases. Each recipe gains plus 1 quality at level 2 and 5. Raising a recipe level also makes its special effects more potent. Now, why don't you just open up the restaurants so you can see the level up uh, action, I guess, eh? Or more like to see the level up in action. Uh, bye. There we go. We got some more stuff here. I do have the money, so I'm never gonna spend the money to buy me some stuff. And, uh, get some upgrades going. So I think now that I did that... Ingredients... Ooh, I can apply it to these ones. 
Yeah, let's give it to this one. And this one's gonna be level two as well. Awesome. Love it. So good. All right, we got that going. Let's open up the restaurant again and uh, do another set of work here for the day. Open up the restaurant. All right, let's see. Oh, look at that. And the level two ones are these ones. That is so cool. All right, guys, what do you want? Uh, we got pink over here. I do not got blue, so I got to reset. There we go. This one, the blue one, is a level two one, so that's good. There we go. She wants blue as well. Perfect. And this time she wants... Let's see... I do not have blue. Let's reset. There we go. Uh, pink over here. Okay. There we go. I think it's gonna be it for the uh, first uh, round of customers. That's awesome. This is really cool. I love it. All right. I cannot wait to start customizing the restaurant as well, making it look pretty, make it bigger, of course, so that we can uh, have uh, more customers each day. All right, she wants pink, she wants blue. So I'm gonna give her blue first, and then I'm gonna reset. We got plenty of pink here, so that's great. Cleaning. Uh, when near trash, press and hold X to clean it. Ooh, there we go. Of course. Oh, she wants... Wait, I think she wanted two of those, right? Yeah, let me reset. Uh, she wants one of these. And she wants a blue one. And with that, we are gonna be the next level three. Perfect. Is it done for today? Nope, I don't think. I think we have uh, another set of customers. There we go. Alright, let's see. What do we need? I cannot wait for this place to get busier because uh, that's gonna be so many clients. Alright, he wants green, but I don't have that. So let's keep on switching. Grab this. Go. I gotta go clean up her table. Uh, I have no blue though. So let me reset. Okay, we got green for him. Nope, not that. Ah, you can also switch. Nice. If you accidentally grab one that you don't need, you can switch. So that is good. Uh, she wants green. And he wants blue. So I'm definitely going to have to reset it again. And we got 180 coins. That is so cool. 176 actually all right perfect oh i'm gonna get another set of customers hold up never mind we didn't so we just got to level three okay we're getting there uh next up we need 200 to get to level four so that's perfect my compliments to the chef nothing beats a recipe with the great ingredients remember to buy ingredients at the market to improve your dishes different ingredients work with different recipes and give different amount of xp visit the market every day to see what's available Hey, you're right, right? Uh, your dad told me about you. Uh, did you enjoy your meal? Yeah, the food was fine. It's the decor you need to worry about. Huh? The furniture decorator's restaurant can have a big consequences on customers. Stop by my workshop if you want to learn more. All right, California rolls. We just learned a new recipe. And of course, next day, I got to go to learn about furniture. So, uh, before I'm going to learn about furniture, let me see if there's anything new here. Ooh, we got mushrooms. We got scallops, XP 10, ooh, 80. It's a little bit expensive, but I'm still going to buy it. Let me go into ingredients. Aha. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to add this one to the brand new uh, recipe we just learned. So, let me add it here. There we go. Perfect. Uh, what else? Are these mushrooms? 25. I'm gonna buy it because it's not that expensive. It's eggs, yeah. 
go back to recipes, ingredients. <gasps> Dang it, I cannot add the, <laughs> I cannot add the egg. Anyway, hopefully the furniture is not gonna be that expensive. I'm pretty sure the first furniture piece is gonna be free though, so that's good. I mean, the world is actually pretty big. I love it. We're gonna have quite a bit of exploration to do here. Can I collect trash? Oh, you can collect trash. Okay. I wonder if I'm gonna be able to make my own garden. Oh, hi. This is my workshop. People donate unwanted or broken items and I turn them into workable pieces. Some furniture is just for looks, but many can make your restaurant more profitable, popular, and comfortable. Normally, those special effects cost a pretty penny, but I'll let you have your first one for free. Choose carefully. Hmm. So I could get a TV, a gumball machine, or a Mostera. I'm gonna go with a TV here. Ooh, profitable. What about this one? Profitable as well. And this one is relaxing. I'm gonna go with profitable for this one. There we go. We got it. Uh, to place furniture in the restaurant, open the menu and navigate to furniture. Okay. Television is a solid choice. This probably goes without saying, but furniture must be placed in a restaurant in order to activate its effect. Why don't you just head on back and try to place it? Uh, first of all, hold up. How expensive is the Monstera? 140, Jesus. Okay, that's uh, that's pretty expensive. What is relaxing though? Let's uh, find out. Relaxing furniture makes customers wait longer for their orders. So, oh, you know what? I don't want the uh, waiting because to be honest, we've been dealing pretty well when it comes to finishing stuff in time. We didn't really have problems with that. All right, let me go back to the restaurant, open it up and uh, get another days of work. I can recycle. So that is paper. You have two sodas. Recycle them. Yes. Oh, you're getting coins if you're recycling items. That is so cool. Okay, I love it, I love it. The game is gonna encourage us to, of course, take care of the place. All right, let me run the restaurant. Oh, dang it, I forgot. I should have had, um, should have placed the stuff. No, uh, dang it. Anyway, let's just make some money then. And then I'm gonna place the furniture. Sleepy customers, wait, what? If a customer falls asleep, press Y to hunk. <laughs> hey, wake up. Hold up. Let me give her that. <laughs> uh, it's so funny you can actually wake him up. Alright, you grab that. Oh, I wonder if you can grab multiple uh, things at once. Because I noticed sometimes they are requesting number two, right? A color, and it shows a number two above their heads. Do you have to actually give them that specific dish two times? Or do you have to give him like a uh, level two dish? I wonder. Uh, where is it? Decoration. Aha, there we go. Now we can place it, finally. We can also rotate stuff. That's awesome. Nah, let's just place it here. Just like that. There we go. Hmm, that'll work. See how much better it feels already? Uh, but don't just take my word for it. Open the restaurant and you'll see the difference. All right, and now we got to do the mission. First of all, let me clean this up. There we go. And I mean, we do have 245. Hold up a minute. Let me go out. Let me buy some more stuff. And then we're gonna open up the restaurant. Why not? Let us see what we got. So next, I wanna get myself a plant. Yes. I know it's expensive, but it's fine. It's gonna relax my uh, customers. And let me see if I can find the recipe that I can put for my uh, ingredients. Okay, what about the mushroom? Let me buy this one. Bye. Here we go. Uh, and other than that, we can also buy... Ooh, this. Yes. Okay. Could I buy up another one, I wonder? Maybe like this one? We do not because we do not have the money. That's fine. Uh, let me go here. Ingredients. 
Okay, we cannot apply that. I uh, seriously we cannot apply none of these. Hmm. Okay. I guess what I gotta do is just basically learn more recipes that I can apply those ingredients to. That's fine. Let me open up the restaurant. Uh, actually, hold up. Before I do that, decoration. Let me add the flower pot. About there. There we go. And now, open up. Whoa, this one is giving me money. What? That is awesome. I don't know what effect these have. Okay, there we go. And you're gonna get the same one. Oh, this guy's sleeping. Hey! We're making quite a bit of money. We're already at 160. Three customers, there we go. Three customers means we got three coins. Four coins, never mind. All right, you grab that. Reload that. Somebody wants blue over here. She wants blue. Uh, we got green from him. Pink for you. I don't have two pinks though, but that's fine. Green over here. Uh, why is this one infinite? I got no clue. Oh, maybe that's uh, all the colors. That's why. Interesting. He wants two. Let's give you this. Pin that up. And I do not have pink. So let me see if I can get it. There we go. Oh, man, we're already at 278 coins. Seriously, we got money so fast. That's fun. I cannot wait to see what other improvements we can get for the restaurant. Because currently this is super fun. Yeah, I cannot get two of them, so I'm not sure exactly. I, I think that number is because they're kind of like expecting a level two dish. That's what that number is. But I bought, I gotta buy me some stuff from the uh, shop if I want to apply it to my dishes. I haven't reached level 5 yet, but I think after this day, I might be able to. See what I mean? Let's recap. You can buy furniture in my shop to increase customer patience, make more money, or gain more popularity. Just remember that furniture only affects customers when it's placed in the restaurant. Visit my workshop every day. Who knows? Maybe we can get uh, to know each other better. Alright, there we go. Brand new day. Uh, let me go ahead and get me more ingredients so I can hopefully improve um, my shop a little bit. Buy. Can I buy it again? Okay, we got two of them. If I go for ingredients, these. Uh, so I can apply it once to this, yes. And I could apply it once again to it. Ah, okay, okay, not bad, not bad. Unfortunately, mushrooms, no. This one, no. And eggs, no. I did, I just need different stuff. Uh, I could buy this. How much expensive is it? 40. Okay, that's fine. Uh, go back into ingredients again and apply to this, for example. Okay. It's not bad. Forty for that. Ingredients and apply to these ones. Okay, this is gonna be level two as well. Perfect. Let me grab the trash. Okay. Let me see if I have a uh, new furniture that I can buy. It's probably gonna be a little bit too expensive and uh, as you guys can see, I already got uh, rid of a lot of money. 160, dang it, okay, so I cannot buy that. I think what I'm gonna focus on doing next, I'm probably gonna get myself another table. More table might mean that I can uh, get more people to come in. I got no blue though. So we're definitely gonna have to uh, reset this one. Okay, there's the blue. 378. Oh, we also reached level 5. Perfect. There we go. 
Are we done for the day? I hope we are. Yes, we are. There we go. And we are finally done with the task. This was our main task, right? To reach level 5. Hi there. Glad I could catch you before you close the shop. I wanted to say thanks for all the hard work you've been putting in. I've lived here for a long time. And let me tell you, it feels different now that you're here. I was on my morning walk and I found this weird looking book uh, near the shrine. I asked around and it didn't belong to nobody, so I figured I'd ask you if you want it. I reckon it's a recipe book based on the pictures, but the words are too small for me to pick up. Let me have a look. Hmm, none of my language model recognizes uh, this thing. The pictures show a person in box-shaped ceremonial clothing presenting offerings that look like giant sushi. After each offering, a mythical creature appears uh, and eats the giant sushi. There are three in total beats me. You ought to ask Maya. If you two put your heads together, uh, well, I bet you guys are gonna figure it out. So nice to see you, Maya. I've heard a lot about you from your father, Cookie. All good things, I hope. Well, I wanted to stop by and tell you that it hasn't gone unnoticed how hard you're working. It's easy to see you're going to have a big impact on Rolling Hills, but don't forget to make the time to socialize too. If you get to know your neighbors better, well, they'll teach you your new skills and uh, even improve the town and shops. Not to mention, having friends is just more fun too. Stop by my cafe if you need any help making friends. Okay, there we go. We got a new recipe. There we go. Now, if I check tasks... There we go. The tasks are all completed. Next up, we gotta go and get a cup of kindness. Uh, Kaki gave you an old recipe book, but you need help deciphering it. Ask Maya about it. Yeah, I gotta go and ask Maya, of course, about it. So, that being said, let me go and chat with Maya. And at the same time, I'm also going to go ahead and get me more furniture. I don't even know where Maya is located. Whoa, look at these tables. What? 250, yes, I will buy it. Uh, this one, we definitely cannot afford it. What about this one? Nope, we cannot afford it. And the TV, we cannot afford it. That's fine. Uh, what about ingredients? Ooh, I can apply this here. Okay, add it. And the egg as well. Yes, please. Okay, and that is going to be it. Right. So this is not her place. I wish I had a map that I could explore. So that I could at least figure out what I gotta go to. I think the missions are where these lights are going. Yeah, if you follow these lights, they're basically pointing you to where you gotta go. Mm-hmm. Whoa! 100 coins! Yes! Awesome! We most definitely need that. Okay, let's get that. Don't see no treasure, uh, no uh, treasure right here, so let me go to the cafe. Welcome, welcome! Even for a hard worker like you, balance is very important. There's time for making sushi, but there's also time for making friends. Friends can help you in all sorts of ways, like teaching new skills and improving the uh, town and shops. Let's start by getting to know your neighbors, Arman, Fren, and Kagi. I think this is also going to unlock the ability to kind of like uh, start increasing the relationship levels, right, with characters. So I guess I got to chat with them. It feels like I stepped back in time, except there's robots too. <laughs> Whoa, you really put this place on the map. How did you just start? Okay. The chef is loaded with books and topics ranging from recipes and electronic engineering. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Ancient history. You present the old book to Maya. Hmm, it looks like any language I've ever seen before, but I know just what to do. I was reading an article about a uh, machine assistant pattern recognition. With the right equipment, I could train a program to decode a new language. And I know just robot to do this with. Uh, with just a few adjustments, I can upgrade your language processing abilities to help decode the book. Now, just a moment for its processing. Eureka! It looks like the book is a step-by-step -step guide to rituals that were performed by Rolling Hills a thousand years ago, back when Hilltop Shrine was built. Each of the rituals involved making an offering of food at the shrine. 
The book describes three offerings in details, but I was able to decode only the first one. If you reenact the first ritual, it might provide context to clues and hints that will help us decode the rest. The first offering is made from the rice and nori wrapper around cucumber, just like a kappa roll. Maybe Arman can order something like that at the market? Interesting. Ask Arman. Okay. So if I go for my tasks, the next task is... Get to know Arman, get to know Kagi, and get to know Ren. Okay. So I guess I gotta go and chat with them. I wish I had a map though, as I was saying, that I could actually check out. As uh, at the moment, I don't really have a map and it's a little bit tricky to explore. And remember where I gotta go to next. I mean, if you pin the missions, these sparkles are showing exactly where you gotta go. So it's not that bad. Hey Ren, how's it going? Same old, same old. Awesome! Did you come here for a reason? Yeah, but it kind of feels silly right now. So what are you doing then? Probably just sitting. <laughs> Seems like a good call. You're not sure how to talk to someone so intimidating. <laughs> are you kidding me? Alright, let me buy this. There we go. That was quite expensive. Let me get rid of uh, some of the trash. There we go. Alright, and cup of kindness. Hi there! What's up, Sushi Bot? I'm trying to get to know some of my neighbors a bit better, and maybe even... Oh, I'm sorry, Sushi Bot. Can we pick this up later? I have to keep in line. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Alright, we gotta figure out how to talk to somebody busy, I guess, this time. Um... I could buy me that, but no, I gotta chat with him some more about going green. Uh, you tell Arman about Kagi's old recipe book and the rituals that Maya helped to decipher. So, I need a cucumber as thick as a tree trunk for the first offering. Hmm, I'm sorry, Sushi Bot, but you're talking about a prize-winning cucumber. I can order it for you, but maybe we can grow one ourselves. You'll need heirloom cucumber seeds, nutrient-rich fertilizer, and a place to grow crops. Fortunately, I already got the heirloom cucumber seeds right here. But you'll need to have to find the nutrient-rich fertilizer and a place to grow crops. Interesting. So we're also going to be able to do farming the game. Not bad. Looks like the shrine has been here for a really long time. Hey, Kagi! Hi there, little fella. Uh, what can I do for you? Well, I'm getting to know my neighbors. Alright then, go ahead and ask something. Uh, I'm an open book. Great, how about your hobbies? Well there, you're getting mighty personal. People from my generation ain't really, to, uh, ain't really used to sharing like that. Oh, okay, sorry ass. You're not sure how to befriend someone so private. There we go, mission completed. Yeah, you gotta take it slow when you're trying to uh, befriend people. You can't just ask personal questions like that, just like day one. Making friends is tough than I thought. Uh, I used to have trouble making friends too, but I found something that helped. Coffee! The cozy vibe, the energy boost, and the robust flavors seem to make the awkwardness melt away. Go on, try it. The first coffee is on the house. Just let me know where you want the coffee with, uh, and I'll call them up. Oh, let's go with... Armin. My mornings at the market aren't too busy, so let's take our time. When it comes to ingredients, the simpler is the better. I was never the most gifted in school, so simple is good for me. Everyone is smart in their own ways, but I didn't know what Ren was a kid. Uh, all I know is it seemed easier for everyone else. If only my classroom had been garden. I like to think I get my green thumbs from my grandpa. Uh, that and my must uh, mustache. Sushi Pot gets to know Arman, spending time to get in the cafe. Simple, the best perfect ingredients will sometimes appear in the market. Check the friend's menu. Ah. 
So I think uh, the more I increase my relationship with this guy, he's just gonna bring more better ingredients to the market. Congrats on making your first friend. You got the hang of it. You can talk to Maya at the cafe and invite someone to cafe uh, to get to know him better. You'll reach the next level of friendship with them. You can see friendship bo uh, bo uh, bonuses when you earn the main menu. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so if I go here, uh, friends. Huh. Favorite ingredients will sometimes appear in the market. Nice. So I gotta increase my relationship, of course, with him to get that. I get it. Okay, next up, going green. You ask Maya where you can find nutrient enriching uh, fertilizer. You need to grow a cucumber as thick as a tree trunk. Whoa, we're really on the same uh, wavelength, Sushi Bot. I've been developing a technique for uh, hyper accelerated composting uh, in hopes of growing my own coffee beans. I just need five samples of food waste to add to the components. You can collect it by cleaning up messy tables in your restaurant. Once you collect five samples of food waste, bring it to me and I'll make the nutrient rich fertilizer you need. Hmm, interesting. Well, I guess uh, our next step is to do maybe like another day at the restaurant here and uh, see what we can get. Let's check it out. Oh, actually, hold up. Before I do this, I got to go into decorations. Add another table. Why not? Maybe. I don't even know where to put this one. I feel like I want to put it here, actually. But this means I'm going to have to move some things around. Or maybe I could just leave it like that. Now, let's just move some things around. TV is going to go there. Flower part is going to go there. Okay. Um, ingredients. I cannot put that anywhere. So let's just start it up. There we go. Perfect. What else? I need you guys to make it messy. What are you guys doing? I need it to be messy. Okay, that's a new dish. Perfect. You too. They're not making a mess. <laughs> I need to clean up after them. Come on, guys. Start making a mess, please. Yeah, we're gonna have to do uh, quite a bit of uh, serving sushi here because uh, people are not really making a mess that frequent. Anyway, we're good. Come on, give me more customers. We got three. Four, perfect. Hey, we finally got the first mess. Uh, flash photography, what is that? Who, who would want a picture with Sushi Bot? Unfortunately, if you're caught on the customer's flash photo, you'll be stunned by the sheer embarrassment. Oh gosh. I don't want that. Okay, we got one of the first samples. Clean this place up. There we go. Hold up, I need green. No, that's not green. Got pink here. And another pink one right over here. There we go. Okay, tables are clean. I think I only got two cleans, actually. Yeah, we just need three times. We just need to clean up three more times. Are we done for the day? I don't think so. I don't even know what color this is. I'm just gonna give it to her. That's four stars. Okay, never mind. That was not good. 
Okay, there we go. Reset this. There we go, we got another place cleaned up. Gotta clean up this. I just need one more and we should be done. Why did that person leave so fast though? What the heck? Nope, let's grab this one. And she wants blue, but I don't have that. Uh, there we go. Come on, guys. Make a mess. Make a mess. Please make a mess. I gotta clean up one more time. And unfortunately, they did not. Meaning, we're not gonna be able to finish up the mission today. We're gonna have to run the restaurant one more time uh, to complete the fertilizer mission. And there we go. Day has ended. 5G? Try 6G. Whoa, that's amazing. This sounds like the perfect place for me. In fact, it almost sounds too good to be true. <laughs> what are you talking about? Do you want the bad news or the good news? Uh, bad news. The bad news is that I got a little carried away and told her that the town has free hi-fi, uh, high-speed Wi-Fi. The good news is that the person you saw has decided to move to the Rolling Hills. You wouldn't happen to have a spare Wi-Fi antenna laying around, would you? That's alright. Uh, all this techno talk is beyond me anyway. The next time I see her, I'll explain that this is my fault. In the meantime, if you do figure out how the Wi-Fi works, there's a new resident and a new customer in it for ya. <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna have to figure out how to bring uh, Wi-Fi to the town. That is so, so interesting. Alright, well, you know what, guys? I think this is gonna be the end of this episode of Rolling Hills, and uh, you guys let me know what you think about us. This is kinda like a farming simulator, a really interesting game where you just gotta do a little bit of restaurant uh, work, you gotta sell a lot of uh, recipes, you gotta learn how to make new food, of course, you gotta upgrade your food, upgrade your restaurant, upgrade the place, of course, while you're at it, and uh, even grow crops. I'm pretty sure you're gonna be able to do that as well. Really interesting game. I'm really loving the look of it. Uh, the game feels really good. I'm currently playing this one on Xbox, PC, Game Pass, and I'm having a blast with it. If you guys have Game Pass and haven't tried this already, Make sure you do. It's a really, really fun one. Let me know in the comments below what you think about it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, everybody.